Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are looking at the Tor Viking, which is built by Gooms, I believe. Um, and yeah, we're going to be doing a mission with it, I think. Uh, I might even try and raise an anchor from the bottom of the ocean. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if we'll be able to do that, but uh, I'm assuming that we can with this thing. Um, and yeah, if we can, that'd be great. If we can't, then ripperoni and pepperoni. Uh, but I'm assuming that we can, so... Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it and uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so this is a supply vessel, so we can actually like move things around and stuff like that. Uh, what is... what is this? Oh! Oh, there's our winch right there. We can actually winch down from there, so we might even be able to drag it up with this thing. Um, that's kind of cool, but we'll go ahead and leave that in there for now. There we go. Right, cool. We got this big old walkway around the outside. We've obviously got this massive area in the middle. And if we go up these ladders, we've got a bunch of other decks, uh, which are actually awesome. Like, this thing is painted really weirdly as well. I say weirdly. Uh, it's kind of cool. I guess these are like wire racks or cable racks. Um, cable... What do you call them? Bundles? Uh, you don't call them bundles. I can't remember what you call them. Uh, we got a crane, obviously, on this side, which is what we're going to try and raise the anchor with. If we go up here... Um, we can obviously go up some more stairs and get up to the bridge area, I think. Yeah, we could go all the way up to the bridge if we want to. Uh, but if we go in here, I don't know what's in here. Let's have a little look real quick. What is this? Medical room? Yep, there we go. Med room. If we go in the next one, this one is a mess room, so that's where we eat. Alright, cool. If we go upstairs, we're in the bridge. And, uh, it looks cool. It looks really awesome. I do wish there was lights. Where are the lights? I mean, I do wish the lights were automatically on, I should say. Uh, I don't know where the lights are. Foghorn? No, we don't need to do that. Uh, what is this? What is this? Electric breaker. Okay, navigation lights, deck lights, bridge lights, wind spotlights, uh, bridge spotlights, and instrument light. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, alright, cool. It's super lit up in here. So we can actually go outside onto the wing if we want to. Uh, and we can go up to the very top of this ship if we want to as well. Uh, just by... Oh. <laughs> that's a little bit in, in the way, but that's okay. Uh, we can get all the way up onto here, which is pretty cool. We've obviously got our little radar thing, and uh, yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. Okay, so our mission is to retrieve the anchor. It is only 3.2 kilometers away. I don't know whether this ship, blah, 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 whether the ship will be able to do it or not, uh, because sometimes the anchor is in really, really, really deep water, and the winches just can't reach that far. Uh, but we'll go ahead and sit down in here, and we'll see what we can do. What is this? Engines, engine primer. Okay. Okay, until the indicator lights are on. I mean, then they're not lighting up at all. They are not lighting up at all. Come on! What? Why are they, like, on zero? What's that? Heaters? Okay. That's backwards. That's forwards. Okay, so it's electric powered. But we can't do the start because these things are like squidged on. I'm not entirely sure why that is. I have no idea why that is. That seems weird. That seems really strange. Is it anything to do with this stuff? You know what? It might be to, to, to do with the uh, the batteries being quite empty because um, obviously I've been using them. All right, cool. I'm going to respawn it and um, we'll try again. This ship is actually the same one, um, or maybe not the same one, I think this is way bigger than the one that I took a picture of, but, um, the same kind of ship as my challenge ship, so, uh, it's a supply vessel just the same, which is pretty cool. Um, but I believe this ship is way bigger in real life than the one that I, I took a picture of. Anyway, we're gonna run all the way- wait, can we go on the bottom floors as well? Is that a thing? Can we go in here? No way, crew quarters, there we go. Oh, wow, so all of these will be, like, little bunk rooms. That's cool, yeah. Yeah, they're all bunk rooms. 6A. Oh, that's cool. That is really nice. If we go up here, we've obviously got lights. We don't really want to turn them on right now. Even though I have just turned them on. Uh, right, okay. Let's go turn on the generator before we do anything else. Because I don't want the battery running down. Um, because that could, uh, that could hinder us very soon. Okay, so we're putting the generators to full. There we go. Put this generator to full as well. And go ahead and do this. As soon as the indicator lights turn on, we could. Alright, there we go. So our generators are now on, and uh, it's it's smoking. That's good. There we go. Now we don't have any problems. So we can turn on this. We can turn on all of these dudes. There we go. Good. Let's get moving. 
Let's get moving. Woo! There we go. We're out of here. We just got to go save this anchor from the floor and we should be good to go. Amazing. That's really good. That is really good. Uh, that does say winch only. Um, not entirely sure what that means. I am not entirely sure what that means at all, but uh, we'll, we'll leave it like that. That seems fine. That seems fine. And uh, we'll go over to the, the anchor spot and we'll see if we can pick it up. It is really atmospheric in these things whenever you're like traveling to a site like this. It just, it's just nice, you know, it's just really nice. I love these pivot, these pivot things right here because they allow um, like these workbenches to go down like this. Uh, and they look really good. They do. The instrument panels look really good when they're like that. Um, the rest of the stuff in here, I don't know what this controls. I, let's see, cable up, cable down, magnet. I don't think we're going to be using the crane today. I don't think we're going to be using the crane at all because the, the winch won't work because I just exploded it. Uh, the winch wouldn't work anyway because you guys can see right there. It's just a small winch. Um, okay. We're going to struggle with this one a little bit. I don't know why it's wiggling around so much. It's wiggling around a lot. All right, leave that right there. Uh, we're going to have to use this uh, little winch in here. I think it's a big winch actually in there. Hopefully. Hopefully that's a big winch and we might be able to use it. Anyway, yeah, so this controls the crane on the back. Uh, up is down, down is up, and that's why I smacked it into the, the wall. Yeah, my bad. My bad, I'm sorry. Uh, we obviously have heaters in here as well, in case you guys are wondering. Uh, but we're not out in the Arctic, so we don't need to turn them on yet. Nice. Just in case anyone's wondering how much fuel we've got, we got 60,000 on the port tank and we got 60,000 on the starboard tank. So uh, we have quite a lot of, uh, of, of fuel on board, uh, which is pretty nice. I uh, don't know where our speedo is. Is that our speed in the middle? No, that's fuel pressure. Where's speed? I don't know. I don't know how fast we're going. Um, I don't think any of these are speed. No. Okay. I don't know how fast we're going. Um, but yeah, we are pretty much over the top of it now. So let's go ahead and start to slow down. Uh, if we can go ahead and get this to zero, which... There we go. We got it to zero. Already. Awesome. Uh, so we'll wait here for a second. This is our speedo over here, uh, and that's all good. Wind speed and stuff like that is there as well. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to get the thing ready to go before we actually throw it overboard. And uh, we're also going to wait until daytime as well before we actually do the mission so that you guys can see it and so that I can see it as well. Okay, let's go ahead and wind this out real quick. Here we go. Down. There we go. We'll, we'll let it come down a lot. Um, the problem is, maybe it's not a problem, uh, we're just going to chuck it over the side to begin with. Um, and it's because the cable isn't um, collidable. So basically, the, this cable is going through the floor and all the way through into the ocean. Uh, and then coming back up, looping into this one. Uh, so we can actually chuck it over the side if we wanted to. And um, that that w should probably work. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to be able to get the... Um, I don't think we're going to ever be able to get it onto the deck. Because we don't have anything at the back that allows us to bring it up. Um... I guess that's what the crane would be used for, but never mind. Never mind, eh? All right, cool. We're going to wait until daytime. We're going to check this over the side, and we're going to go over the anchor. Okay, it's daytime. We're going to try and get ourselves into the right position. If we start moving forward, there we go. Beautiful. Uh, this thing is powered by two, two propellers. All right, cool. How many engines has it got in here? Two diesel engines um, and a bunch of, I guess, infinite generators, I think, possibly. Uh, that's what it looks like, anyway. Uh, so that's good. All right, cool. We're moving forwards, which is nice. And we should be over the anchor spot very soon. I don't know whether we've got some sort of depth... Um, depth? De I don't know what to say. Depth meter, I guess, uh, on this thing anywhere. I don't believe we do. So I, I did want to know how far to the water or to the, the, the seabed uh, it was. But at the minute, we, we just can't see. Can I see the bottom of the, the sea from here anyway? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. We might have a bit of a problem here. I can see the anchor. All right, cool. We're going to slowly keep going forwards. We're going to run outside by ourselves. Close this door real quick and run down here. There we go. Beautiful. Quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and trawler it. And what, what I mean by trawler it is uh, we're going to throw this over the side and hopefully it will run across where it needs to be. Very. Is it? Is it off? I've thrown it off. All right, cool. Go ahead and turn the magnet on. Here we go. Magnet is on. And hopefully, 
it'll attach. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure whether it will or not, though. So let's have a little look with this. Press P so we keep moving forwards. And go underneath and try and find the magnet. I can't see anything currently. Uh, okay, I see, I see the line. I no longer see the line. Uh, oh, where's the boat? There's the boat. Okay. There's the winch line. And there's the, the magnet. All the way back there. All the way back here. Is the little magnet. Okay, so we're slowly like sliding it. I think it's pretty close to the water. Uh, the bottom of the water. The bottom of the ocean. So as long as we keep going forward slowly, it might attach itself. Which would be fantastic. Okay, we're almost overhead. Uh, we do have like bow thrusters, so we can actually move backwards and forwards. Which is why I'm rocking so much. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and try and slide straight over the top of it. If we can go straight from here and we can pick it up, that would be great. That would be really, really good. Really, really, really good. Also, the front of this looks awesome as well. Um, and that's using wing blocks in case anyone was wondering. Wait, we could have used these too. We could totally use these winches. And not that we need to because we're using the other ones. But we could totally use these ones if we needed to. I don't think there's any buttons for those though. Uh, is there? Can I have a little look from the top? I don't know whether we can see it from up here. Uh, no, there's no buttons on those. Oh, it doesn't look like there's buttons on those. Uh, so that's interesting. Very interesting. All right, we are pretty much over the top of it. Let's go ahead and stop. I, I, I hate these. There should be a button on them that allows you to go back to center. Because otherwise, we just got this situation constantly. There we go. We're at zero. All right, cool. Uh, we just got to wait for it to see if it attaches. If it doesn't attach, we got to see if we got any equipment on here for diving. And uh, we'll go ahead and dive underneath and see what we can do. Okay, so in camera mode, I believe this is our magnet attached to the ship. And this is the magnet attached to the anchor, although it's really hard to see. Yeah, I think this is the anchor right here. This is our ship. We're going to have to drive forwards in order for this to actually... Yeah, all right, cool. We're very close to it, though, so that's good. Let's go back upstairs. All right, quickly. And uh, we'll start driving forwards very slowly. And hopefully we'll attach straight to it. Okay, there we are. We're pulling. We are not over the top of it. We are going too fast. Ah, this is going to be so dangerous. Uh, not dangerous, but like hard to do. If I can slowly push left or right, I need to go to the right. Okay, that's turning me. That's twisting me. I We need to go see if we got any equipment on board. Because if we do have equipment, then we're good. If we don't have any equipment, then we might uh, not work. It might not work. Um, hmm. Where would the equipment room be? Probably on the inside, let's be honest. Let's try and find a way in. Is there a door back here? Nope. All right, try and find a door somewhere. Let's go upstairs. There's a door. Let's go through here. Crew quarters. All right. Go upstairs. 2B, 4B, shower room, other shower room, 3B. No, I don't think we got any equipment anywhere. I don't think we got an equipment room at all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Okay, since that's the case, have we got any equipment down here in this room with this? No. Uh, well, I, I can't really dive under. That's that's just not something that I can do. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over another vessel with some equipment on. And we're going to go ahead and dive down and try and attach it. Okay. And here's the random little vessel we're going to be using. Woohoo! It's mine. It's my little vessel. I, th I figured I'd give it another test because uh, the last one didn't go too well. We go ahead and do this. We go ahead and turn it on. There we go. It's not on. Now it is. It is on. It is on. That's good. Battery's on full. Backup battery's right there. Um. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Let's go. We gotta get over to there. It's only 2.2 kilometers away, and we'll be there very soon. Nice. Okay. For you. For, 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 for those of you guys saying that uh, the gearboxes should be turned around, I did do that in a previous video. Uh, they are now pointing towards the engine or the motor. Uh, so that's pretty good. We are still going seven though, which is obviously not like the fastest boat in the world. It is supposed to be like a river boat, um, so that's what it's designed around, like a New York fire department boat. Um, and yeah, I, I feel like it's not like massively slow, but I guess it should be a little bit faster. Um, the problem with that, of course, is that we don't really have enough room for more gearboxes, and uh, also we don't really have an well. You know what? We should actually change the engine on this thing at some point into like an aircraft engine or just add another engine to it and um, 
yeah, maybe that'll work a little bit better. Anyway, um, it is working, it's floating, and it does have equipment on board, so we'll be there very soon uh, to deliver some equipment. Okay, hello dude, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, we are here, we are, how far away from that? 100 meters down. I don't know whether the, well, we're able actually, to actually do this. Uh, but we'll go ahead and pack up next to the tall viking and, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Uh, right, okay, so, let's try and keep this, this thing still for now. We'll go ahead and grab the diamond equipment and we'll jump overboard and we'll see if we can attach the magnet to the magnet. That's all we need to do. Alright, jump in. Let's go. Do 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 do. It's so hard to see. Uh, so the anchor is of course right there. The uh, the boat's magnet is right here. I don't think we'll be able to move the boat around uh, by pulling on the magnet, but uh, we might have enough leeway with this. Yeah, I feel like we do. Alright, cool. I could just swim over and we could just attach it on. There we go. That's all we needed to do. Go ahead and swim up to the top. Go ahead and start pulling it up and uh, it should be good to go. Nice. Okay, I am also going to take off the diving equipment now as well because obviously I don't really want my screen to be this impacted, which it's, uh, it is. It's impacted quite a lot. Uh, so we'll go ahead and leave my boat right here for now. We'll go ahead and jump on top of that boat. In fact, let's put us in the right place so we can just walk onto the ladder instead of getting back into the water and dirtying our uh, clothing. Here we go. Keep going backwards. Keep going backwards. That's good. That's good right there. All right, we're very close. We're still going backwards slowly, so that's good. And just jump over. There we go. Beautiful. Woo! All right, uh, now all we need to do is we need to raise the anchor from the bottom of the ocean, uh, which we can do like this. There we go. Beautiful. And uh, that should work quite well. Awesome. Nice. Uh, the other thing that I was thinking of doing as well while we're at it is uh, putting this in the water, turning my boat around, and uh, attaching my boat to the side of this thing. We'll pull it over to the fishing village and um, we'll maybe have to use my boat to tow the uh, to, to tow the anchor further into the shore uh, because obviously this is a big boat and the anchor will be dangling underneath because we can't pull it on top. Uh, if that makes any sense, I hope it does. Um, but yeah, right, cool. Okay, so I've went ahead and I've dropped it down. I've turned the magnet on. We can't do anything else with that. We might be able to drag it out if we go ahead and we use my winch. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, I just fell off, but that's okay. Uh, there is a med bed on that boat, so that's okay. Right, let's go ahead and get in this one. We'll go ahead and reverse around to the other side. And we'll try and attach our little magnet on the back of this thing to the magnet on that crane. And we'll see what happens. Here we go. We can turn really quickly. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. And uh, we need to turn the magnet on to begin with. So let's go do that real quick. Turn the magnet on, please. Magnet on off. Amazing. Go back inside. Try and get it in the right location. And then we should be able to attach really easily, hopefully. Uh, okay. That's not bad because if we slowly drift forwards... We can jump on here. Alright, we can grab this. We can maybe grab this. Here we go. Lift it up. Bring it on my boat. <laughs> Bring it on my boat. Down. Bring it this way. And I might be able to just attach it on. Here we go. Come on. This would be better with more than just one crew member. Come on. Come up, lift it, attach, come up, no, it didn't work, come up, come on, you got this, I can't see where it is, please sir, it's going to attach, please, it's not attaching, is it, it's not going to attach, uh, the only other thing I can think of doing is putting this back on our deck, if we possibly can, that would be great, I can't put it back on the deck, uh, Alright, hold on. We can maybe push it through the back end. Through here. No, that didn't work. That didn't work. Lift it. Push it. Push it. Put it on. Come on. I can't put it on the boat. Okay, just, just, just climb up here. No. No, 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 no. I can't put it on my... Okay, I'm upset. I'm upset. We're going to have to just let go. 
And um, we might have to just leave my boat here. And, and to be honest, that's okay. Okay, so I've run myself into it real quick, and we should be able to attach it if we just run up on our deck real quick. So uh, hopefully this magnet is, uh, or the, the winch is fast, uh, so that we can actually just go ahead and grab it and run over to here and attach it. Uh, but I don't think that's what's going to happen right now. I don't think that's what's happening. Nope. I feel like the boat is slowly drifting backwards, uh, which is not the best. All right, cool, cool, cool. Go ahead and grab it. Go ahead and release this and do this one instead. And we can slowly grab it and take it forwards. Yep. Come on. Oh, it's getting away from us. It is getting away from us. All right, cool. Drop this here. Please don't fall in the water. That would be really poopy. Go ahead and do this and do this. Here we go. Here we go indeed. All right, that's good. That's good. That's probably good. All right, cool. Open the door. Grab the thing in my bobby. Take it all the way to the front. Come on! Come on, attach! Yes! Hey! Oh, Jesus! Why is my... Why is it... What? Why is it done this? Yo! It's like in my boat! I don't think that's supposed to ha... Alright, whatever. I'll leave my boat sinking like it is. I don't know why that's happening. But there you go. Anyway, we've got the anchor underneath this thing, so all we need to do now is drive uh, over to the location where we need to finish it, and we're good. Nice. Okay, I I really, really don't know how this is going to go, but uh, we'll leave that right there. <laughs> that seems fine. Uh, we'll bring it up to the top. Okay. Yeah. Why is my boat underwater? It's like that thing has collided with it, and it's just stuck, stuck inside, which is, like, strange. It is really weird. Okay, anyway, let's go like this. And we are moving forwards. There we go. All right, cool. Oh, okay. We're pulling my boat backwards. My boat is completely underwater. Um, I did leave the door closed. So that's good. Um, the main point of towing my boat was so that we can actually pull the anchor further inland. Uh, but my boat, my, my boat's underwater. Yeah. Okay, so this island right here is the one that we are delivering to. My boat is still uh, under underwater. I don't think the water is actually inside. No, it is It is empty. So as soon as we stop, I'm assuming that it will come back up to the surface. Um, I mean, that that is not a guarantee. So we might have a bit of a problem. The anchor is still definitely uh, attached to us underneath. As you guys can see, the anchor is just stuck there. And uh, you know what? We might not even need my boat after all because I think this boat is actually pretty, you know, it is pretty um, shallow. Yeah, I don't really know the word for it. I can't remember. Um, but the bottom of this boat doesn't actually go underwater that far. So we might be able to just drive on, drive in and deliver it that way. Um, but also it might not work that way. We'll have to see. Uh, we can deliver my boat here as well anyway. Okay, I feel like we should sort of slow down. Maybe let my boat come up to the surface and uh, then we can continue going. Uh, if my boat will ever come back up to the surface. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. It's totally trying to surface. There we go. Yep. And you know what? We could use it as a tugboat, I suppose. We could push. We could pull this boat in with my boat. Not that that would ever work because my boat is uh, not strong enough for that, but. Um, the fact that we're going way slower now and it's back up to the surface is great. Anyway, let's go and continue. Yeah, is it going to go straight back under? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. All right, cool. Well, we're almost there anyway, so we might as well get over to the location where we need to deliver this thing. Drop it down on the ground. Maybe pick it up with my boat and uh, we'll pull it in with that, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and drop it here anyway. Yeah, let's do that. That seems like a good idea. We'll drop it right here. There we go. My boat should come back up to the surface again. I don't actually see my boat right now. It might be underneath this boat. Um, <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. Go underneath here. Go ahead and drop the thing in my bobby. Take the anchor off. The magnet off. There we go. Good. And uh, we'll sail this one away real quick. And then we can come back and do the same thing. Uh, with my little boat and tug it in and we'll see if it works. Okay, so there's my boat right there. Let's go ahead and detach the magnet from this one right here. Magnet three. There we go. Beautiful. We should have dropped it on the floor and my boat should come back up to the surface properly. Yes, indeed it has. Now all we need to do is go ahead and turn on my, uh, my, uh, my diving equipment again. Uh, and we'll jump underneath. 
we'll go ahead and attach my magnet to the magnet on the anchor. And from there, we should be able to deliver it to its location in the village. Nice. In fact, instead of diving, I might be able to just drive over it. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how well this will work, but I might be able to just go straight across. Straight across in front of it. Come on. Yep. Stop it right there. Start reversing, maybe. Oh, come on. It's so close. All right. Reverse it towards it. Here we go. Here we go. And it's right underneath it. Ah, come on. All right, I might have to go under. I'm going under. All right, cool. Attach the diving equipment. There we go. Go ahead and open touch me. Dive underneath. And attach it right under there, please. You're right next to it as well. How upsetting is that? Very upsetting. There we go. Good. We're attached. That is awesome sauce. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. And close the thingamabobby. There we go. And um, I guess we should winch up as well. This might really affect my boat. Like, my boat might have massive problems with this. Because uh, it's really heavy. And it's going to go on the back end. Uh, but anyway, we'll start pulling now. We'll just start pulling. And uh, we'll take it over to its final resting place. You know what? My boat is actually coping with this decently well, actually. Having a massive anchor on the back end. My boat is not that buoyant as it is. As you guys can already tell. But, um... We're pulling the, the anchor up. <laughs> it is definitely working, which is fantastic. We just don't have enough power to be able to put it on the beach because my boat doesn't drive on water. I mean, on land. Yeah, my boat doesn't drive on land, just to let everybody know. Um, but here we are. We are getting very close to the destination, and we should be able to drop it off very soon. Here we go. Start turning around. Throw it onto the beach. There we go. We've thrown it. Onto the beach. It's almost on the beach. Go ahead and drop it off the back end and we should be good. Research points. We just unlocked research points. There we go. Good. Disconnect that and we'll be out of here. Is my engine still on? My engine is not still on. Come on. Come on. Is my boat about to die? I feel like it's about to die. Come on! Sometimes the generator just doesn't work on this thing. It's really weird. It is very strange. Anyway, uh, I am going to leave this video here anyway, because uh, we've completed the mission. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys want to see more, then let me know in the comments down below, and uh, I might be able to show you guys some more. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.